The largest lottery prize in history is getting even bigger ahead of Wednesday night's drawing. The Powerball jackpot this morning stands at $1.4 billion. Excitement is growing internationally. Thousands of Canadians are pouring into the U.S. to try their luck. DeMarco Morgan is at Niagara Falls near the New York border with Canada. DeMarco, good morning. Good morning. It may be hard to make out, but Niagara Falls uh, clearly is behind me, and it's an attraction uh, that draws both Americans and Canadians. But now it seems as if uh, Canadians are using this, hoping that this crossing will transport them into a destination where all of their dreams will come true. While millions of Americans think they are lucky enough to beat the unimaginable odds, so too do Canadians. I'm going to take my chances just like everyone else. Sherry Ann says she drove nearly two hours from her Ontario home for a chance to become the world's next billionaire. We come here and drop a lot of money on a regular basis. We shop in the U.S. a lot. So we give to you. It's time you give back. Our neighbors to the north have been traveling across the border from cities like Vancouver, Toronto and Montreal. The Canadian, they're coming like crazy here for the lotto. Thank you. Which they are legally allowed to do. You do not have to be a, uh, a U.S. citizen to buy a Powerball ticket. As long as you're buying your tickets at an authorized retail location, then that's fine with us. But winners outside the U.S. can expect more taxes. The federal government can withhold 30% of gambling winnings paid to a foreigner. That's 5% more than for a U.S. resident. There could also be state taxes depending on where the ticket was purchased. New York has one of the highest state lottery taxes, more than 8%. We're just steps away from the border where Canadians enter the U.S., but for those not willing to make the trip, there are online retailers willing to do it for them. The Lotter.com is one such website. This week, the service says it became temporarily unavailable after experiencing high demand. We don't endorse them, and we tell everyone to, 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 to be careful. But no matter which side of the border you're on, there's no escaping the one in nearly 300 million chance of winning. Even though the odds are totally against winning, somebody has to win, so we can dream. Now, the $1.4 billion jackpot converts to $1.9 billion in Canadian dollars, and that's a long way from the jackpot of Canada's comparable Lotto Max game that now sits at an estimated $50 million. Gail? Hope you're warm enough, DeMarco. It's cold. <laughs> I'm not trying to make I'm fun of you, but you look kind of funny freezing. standing there. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot.